What's up guys, if you are sick and tired of getting scammed by NBA 2K's packs, make sure to head over to safembamt.com, use code BUGS for 5% off a checkout, and get that cheap, fast, reliable MT that you guys definitely need in this game. What's good YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K21 My Team video and guys today we are going over to market as per usual. If you guys are new make sure to smash that like button. Let's hit 50 likes on this video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and comment down below for a chance at winning some free MT. Usually we do MT giveaways on the streams every uh, Monday through Friday around 2 Eastern guys. Friday every single Friday. So guys make sure to pull up to the streams. Uh, we do a lot of giveaways on there, and if we do get 50 likes on this video, we will increase the giveaways um, on the stream. So, um, not only that, guys, we're going to go over the market. Let's get into it, man. Uh, let's see what new packs they released. Uh, they just got Possessed Halloween packs. Um, I don't know. To be honest, guys, I'm not really a fan of the content this week. I think the content this week was honestly really, really garbage, to be honest. Um... They said it was like the season of giving or whatever. And honestly, guys, I don't really know what they're giving us besides the John Morant. Like, they haven't really gave us anything. That's actually good. So, in my opinion, man, I think this whole content thing was not good at all, in my opinion. So, this is what I think. I think the market is actually going to rise because of this terrible content, to be honest. um, I know the super packs out. The market might be crashed. But to be honest with you guys... The market's gonna rise because this content right here was super hype, and to be honest, it wasn't that good. It really, really, really was not good whatsoever. Um, one thing I'm seeing here is if Manu's around like 50k, which I think he is, man. Try to scoop him up. He's 60k, guys. I think he might drop if you can maybe snag one for like 50ish k. You should probably do so. Like 59k right here, 18 gold badges, no extra all things, but. You see what I'm saying, man? He's just a little too cheap. I feel like, what, 59k that was? That's a snag in my opinion. Definitely a good pickup. I already have one, so I'm not going to pick up another one. Um, But going over to cards, man. Ooh, John Havlicek. Did he go up? Wow, John Havlicek was around 60,000 MT. He's up to 80,000 MT. So that's good if you guys invested in him. I did around 60k. And uh, he's going up. Kevin Garnett is another card that is going up big time. He was around 70 something K. I actually sold mine for 70 something K. And now he's around 100 K. So that's pretty interesting as well. Um, a lot of cards are worth investing in. Let's check out the Amethyst, guys. Because uh, another thing is, man, Amethyst players like Udonis has them and all them. These cards right here, I think they might go in value, guys. They're not in the token market, I don't think anymore. Or they might be. Um, their prices might rise within the next couple weeks. If you want to make a bet and invest, they probably go up to 2500 because Amethyst always do rise. It's definitely something you want to pay attention to. Uh, if you guys also have any market talk questions, man, let me know because I'm answering all market talk questions, guys. I'm here for you. I pretty much answer every question. Only thing I'm not going to answer, guys, if you ask for a freaking what level are you for D-Wade, all right? If you, ask, if you seriously ask, am I going to get D-Wade on this level? I have no idea, man. There is like five freaking weeks left okay i don't know if you're getting d wade that is a question that i will not answer because i i don't know like seriously if you are level 20 dude i don't know if you're getting blake man you gotta grind it out i'm only level 23 i gotta keep grinding i gotta grind today i'm a little behind but uh yeah my my goal is to get 5k xp a day for you guys grinding blake you want to get 4k xp a day so that's a little tip for you guys um but continuously looking at these filters man um, it's very interesting that the market is absolutely it's like crash but at the same time it's not i hate when this happens it's all over the place it's just a complete mess and not only that there's not a lot of snipes to go by guys like the snipes are dead like i don't understand what exactly is going on with the 2k market i feel like not a lot of people right now this weekend are playing this game i think they're really fed up because to be honest yo this whole festival thing is a giant scam as per usual and honestly, it just makes me just want to invest in cards because whoever's really popping super packs, you guys got to be crazy, man. These super packs are absolute doo-doo. Uh, but I feel like 57K for Melo might not be a bad idea. Not totally sure. He also has a three-point shoe. So, like, I, I just... And he has speed. I think this is a pretty good shoe, honestly. I'm going to have to... 
I'm gonna snag that Melo for 57k. I mean, his price will probably drop, but he does have a shoe making him 10 times better. And to be honest, I think Melo is a very usable card, especially on next gen. High key, one of my favorite cards of next gen. I was playing with him for XP challenges and he was absolutely goaded. So now here's another thing, man. Kevin Durant, Pink Diamond, guys, is he worth the snag? Is he gonna rise him in value? Well, here's the thing with IOS cards. They always, always, always end up going down in value at least a little bit. No one knows who the lock-in is. So the lock-in is probably going to rise his price, but you gotta get this KD for a good price, man. I want to snag him through the XP challenges and sell him, and then I'll probably take a L. Like, it happens to me every single time. But, um, yeah, I'm probably about to bid on this KD. I, I, I just, I need him. So, I'm going to bid on that, and wow, who's bidding on KD for higher than me? That is absolutely insane. Um, KD's probably going to drop in value. I just got to get these damn XP challenges done. And XP challenges, guys, just do it, man. Get your grind on, man. It's completely worth it, man. We're already level 23. We're going to try to get another, like, 5K XP today, hopefully um but uh guys there's just there's just so much going on Ooh, i'm gonna buy that all right so that's a that's a little snipe right there we just got 30k moses malone nothing crazy he's around 36 i'm gonna make a solid 3k i'm actually gonna wait i think he's one of the cards that is gonna rise he's just way 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 too cheap man pink diamond should not be this cheap they really crashed the market guys right now is still a very very good time to invest in and honestly, another player I feel like is worth the investment is Luka Doncic, AD, any of those players. And why is that? Because if you think about it, man, 200 tokens to lock in a set, if they're too cheap, it's really not good at all. If they're really, really cheap. Uh, I'm going to buy that too. Um, 76K for Luka Doncic. Why am I buying that? Because I know his price is going to go up. If you think about it, there is nothing, guys. These super packs are not good. Trust me when I say this, all these cars and super packs, they're going to rise up in value. Trust me when I say this. Listen, it's going to happen. You just have to know what to invest in. Like I said, Luka Doncic has value because of the set he's in, the 200 tokens. If they release next season or soon, a crazy, crazy token market update, anything in the token market, listen, they're going to release. They're going to release that. That, blah, that collection is going to go up big time because of that Luka Doncic. That's another, that's another, um, I can't even speak right now. That is another player that I feel like is worth the investment. Another investment that I feel like is pretty interesting is Dame Lillard. Just because it's Dame Lillard, um, he is pretty overhyped. Nah, he's not overhyped. He's a GOAT. But this card is pretty good. I like him a lot. And honestly, he was at 40K, I think, a couple days ago. And he is slowly rising. Is he worth the investment at 50K? It, I, I say a little bit under 50K is worth the investment. Then again, guys, going over... Like, if you invest in cards over, like, 50k, it is a little risky because you never know. Like, that Havlicek, I got one Havlicek for, like, 60, and I got one Havlicek for 100. So, realistically, I'm not I'm not going to make that much MT because I got screwed on the 100k Havlicek. But right now, I'm trying to just go over investments, man. Sniping is somewhat decent. I'm not a fan of sniping this year, to be honest. Sniping is really, really booty. Investments are the way to go. Another filter I'm going to show you to snipe on, though. I'm going to show you real quick. Badges. I'm going to go range extender and or deep threes on next gen and this is a very very interesting filter considering the fact that deep threes is so expensive because of jalen brown and i don't know it might be worth the investment so now here's another tip if they release like a free card that's really op but he doesn't have deep threes all right but he you could equip them those cards rise up like crazy and i'm buying that 17,000 MT for bronze range extender. I don't think it's a snipe, but as you guys know, the other day, the other week, man, if you remember, if you remember, if you saw what the hell D3s was going for when Jalen Brown dropped, it literally was out to 35,000 MT. So for deep threes badges, you always want to pay attention to the market. I would say now's a good time to invest in deep threes because, or range extender. This card will go up in value depending on what they drop. If they drop a very OP card that is equipable D3s, you will see bronze D3s skyrocket, skyrocket. And this is also another filter I want you guys to pay attention to. And obviously clamps, also quick first step is another good filter. There's so many good filters in this game. It's just, it's just all over the place, man. Let's check out the glitch filter one time. Um, looks like Tim Duncan is now a bid and so is Manta. No, Manta's not a bid. That's weird. Um, so Tim Duncan is now a bid, which is strange because he was actually like 90 something K. Oh, there's one for hundred K. There's another one for hundred K. Do I think Tim Duncan goes to a bid? I think he does, but it is a little bit of risk. It is definitely a little risky. And Monta Ellis for 82 K, in my opinion, is like low-key a snag too, because he's amazing. I love this card. I love his jump shot. I love his dunk animations. 
there's just a bunch of cards you should be investing in and honestly i can't really go over every card you should invest in i'm trying to but if you have any questions of investing let me know i'll give you my honest opinion and then uh yeah but uh, in this video i invested in deep threes luka Doncic, moses malone and carmelo for now hopefully they rise and yo that's all we really got for the video hope you guys did enjoy have a good one peace What's up, guys? If you want cheap, fast, reliable MT, make sure you hit me up on Instagram and Twitter. I am buying and selling MT. Hit me up right now.